Good afternoon, my name is Tristan Innocent. I am in your construction materials class, and this is my oral presentation for the topic I have, which is steel. Um, so steel is one of the strongest materials that we have, that we use for transportation, whether it be car, truck, uh, commercial SUVs, 18 wheelers, um, subways, trains, planes, um, to construction, uh, whether it's beneath our feet in concrete, which is rebar, or, you know, what holds a building together, you know, steel, steel beams, uh, joists, um, the structure that we use to build, you know, almost a half mile high in skyscrapers. Um, so a little bit about steel, uh, it came around right at the start of the Iron Age, about 4,000 years ago. So it was proving that it was harder and stronger than bronze, which was the most used metal before. Um, and we used it, we used bronze for weaponry, tools, um, clothing, armor, equipment. So that's around where it came from and you know it took us a long time to realize and to know that the more that you heat up iron or iron or the more carbon molecules it collects so the hotter the temperature is the harder it gets and it starts collecting carbon and collecting carbon and collecting carbon which fuses together and creates the metal steel the combination of carbon and iron so, what this has done is basically how it works. So, iron is heated up. Carbon molecules collect onto the iron, which develops a raw steel. So, the raw steel is actually really not as strong as we think it is. So, what we do to harden that steel is we heat it up again and we quench it in some type of oil um, excuse me sorry I've been fighting a sinus infection um, so what we do is we quench the steel and it hardens so um, if you've ever sticking anything that's hot into a cold surface what it does is it shrinks up it causes the atoms and the molecules inside of that steel and what what combines to make the steel it causes them to shrink and it causes a permanent bond that hardens the metal so around the 19th century um this guy named henry uh henry bessemer who created uh the furnace which was a very useful way and very effective way to heat the steel and cause it to shrink and that's what we use today the same processes that they used in the 17th century as we use today the only difference is we use electric furnaces so we're able to control the heat a little bit better than we did back then um, but yeah so one of the things that we do use it for in construction is framing we use it to you know Wood is a very soft material. You can, you cannot stack any higher than usually around two stories without having any strength with steel. Um, you know, wood is a very soft material. It's very easy to erode, uh, develop diseases like mold, uh, so it's very susceptible to the weather. Um, steel, excuse me, steel is a lot stronger than wood. Um, you know, we use it, so the higher we go, or the wider we expand, or the bigger our rooms expand, we use more and more steel, whether it's through beams, trusses, um, framing, such as rebar underneath. Um, 
roofing. We use it for several different things within construction and even down to nails, bolts, uh, you know, what we use to get those things in, whether it's drills, um, electric hammers, hammers just in general, um, they all use steel. So this material is probably one of the most important materials that we use today in construction and in transportation in our everyday lives.